Okay, so let's get straight into another yoga class. So make sure you have your mat and you have a pillow close to you as well. Let's start by bringing those arms up and stretching to the left and to the right. You can sit on your knees or with your legs crossed, whatever's comfortable for yourself. And now bringing the neck down and up, chin down to the chest, looking up and down. One more time. Chin down to the chest and looking up. Now let's reach those hands up. You can interlock the fingers if you want. Reach down, bring the hands behind the back and reach up with those hands again. And now we'll plant one hand down and reach over with the opposite hand, opening up the side body here. Breathing into the side of the body and the ribs. And then we'll swap it all the way over to the opposite side. Again, reaching over with that hand, feeling a nice stretch along the side of the body. Breathe in and you'll feel the ribs and your belly expand and get a bit bigger. Let's swap over to the other side. If you want to go a little deeper, you can go down on your forearm. I'm just going to stay in the hand. And let's swap it over to the opposite side again. Big breaths into the side of the body. Now you can reach over just like we were doing, or if you want a bit more of a challenge and to open up the hips a small bit, we can reach one leg out to the side like I'm doing here. So we'll have a almost a straight line from our ankle, knee, through our hip and through that top shoulder. And then we can reach that hand up or even in front. Just make sure that your knee on the ground here is comfortable as well. And then you can even walk it over the two hands to the other side if you want. Whatever feels comfortable. So we're just getting into those hips. You can even sit up if you don't want your hands down. You can reach over to the opposite side. It's all really just about opening up the side of the body of the ribs here. So let's swap it over, bring it back to the middle. We can plant one hand down, reach the opposite leg out, and then we're making almost like a star. Same as we did on the opposite side. And you can reach up with that hand or reach it over. And then we'll walk it all the way around to the opposite side if you want. Just playing around with it, getting into those hips. They're your hips, so get to know them. And coming up onto that knee. Reach it over. Again, whatever variation that you want. And now we're going to sweep the legs down. We're actually going to go into our tabletop position. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, tuck the toes under, and then shoot the hips back up into a downward facing dog. So once you get here, you can walk it out on the spot, leaving one heel drop down to the ground, and then the other side. Just seeing how the ankles and calves and legs feel today. From here we can bend our knees, even round our back, and then straighten the legs. You can bend the knees, round the back a bit. This is really nice on the spine. And then we can push back up and leave those heels drop to the ground. Looking back to the toes all the time. Let's go again, bend those knees, look back, and then push the hips up, straightening the legs as much as is comfortable for yourself. Let's just hold it here, look forward, Step between the hands and a big bend in the knees here. We're folding over. Now let's curl all the way up the spine, reach the hands up and then dive down again. Again, big bend in the knees. Look forward, let's plant those hands down, step back into a high plank or push-up position. From here, we're gonna lower down to the knees 
and then lower all the way down on to our belly whenever you're ready slowly lowering down from here lying down on our belly we're going to bring our hands behind our back if you want to interlace the fingers you can we're going to do a small back bend here and we'll work into a full lotus so what we want to do here is lift the chest up and push actively with the hands back behind us if you really want to challenge the lotus position you can lift the legs as well and try to point the toes as much as you can but just be careful with your back especially if you're not used to this movement let's bring those hands to our sides and push all the way up into a upward facing dog we can sway side to side and then sit back into our downward facing dog shooting those hips up good from here reaching that left leg up so three-legged dog and we're going to step that left foot up between the hands and come into a low lunge position here plant your right hand down left hand reaches up opening up the side body again here and getting a nice twist drop that left hand down and lifting that right leg up and coming into a high lunge this time reaching those hands up and cactus the arms inhale reach the hands up and then exhale cactus those arms now let's open up into our warrior two and now straighten that left leg or your front leg and we're going to go into our triangle pose looking up towards that right hand the left hand is rested on the lower left shin and let's come back up into our reverse warrior so we're just reaching over with the opposite side from here we want to point our two toes towards the back of the mat and we're going to do a wide-legged forward fold facing the back of the mat you can straighten or bend the knees as much as you need to here and release the hands down towards the ground and a big stretch here in the hips and in the hamstrings calves breathing into wherever you feel the most stretch and slowly bending the knees pushing into the inside arch of the foot as we come up now let's point the right foot towards the back of the mat and step back into our three-legged dog and then stepping that right foot up between the hands so same as we did on the other side we're planting that left hand down the right hand reaches up getting a nice twist in our low lunge position good now let's come up into our high lunge so we're just lifting that back knee reach the hands up overhead cactus the arms back so we're opening up the shoulders and the chest here and then opening up into our warrior two so we just pivot the back leg the knee and the front leg on our right leg stays tracking over the toes arms are reaching out and now let's straighten that front leg and fold 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 over on that front leg we can use our shin and our hand for a bit of balance here if we need it good and now let's slowly come all the way back up go into your reverse warrior so we're just reaching towards that back leg leaving the hand slide down the back leg and then bring it back to the center so pivot the foot in and i want you to fold over again for that wide-legged forward fold i'm just going to turn around here so you can see me from the front so pushing those hips back and then leaving the hands released towards the floor again you can have a bend in the knees or you can try to straighten them if you're feeling a bit more flexible and a bit more warmed up now you can even bend one knee straighten the other however you want to get into the hips now from here slowly coming up 
We're gonna go into our yoga squats. If you wanna heel toe the feet in a small bit closer, sit down into the hips. You can bring your hands together in prayer position if you want and push the knees out with your elbows. Sit as deep as you can here. Your hips might be screaming at you, but that's okay. This is really gonna strengthen up the hips and it's going to loosen them out as well. Holding it here. Focus on your breathing. And then plant the hands down on towards the ground and let's sit back nice and slowly, sitting back on your bum and we'll get into a cross-legged position or any position that allows you for your back to be straight. From here, inhale, reach the two hands up and we'll twist over to one side. Doesn't matter what side here. Think of twisting from your belly button. Inhale, reach the hands up and we're gonna go the opposite side. Exhaling out as you twist. And inhale, reach those hands up again. Bringing the hands down in prayer position in front of the chest. We're just going to stay here just for a few seconds. If you want to take some deep breaths, you can. Big deep breaths in through the nose and you can just let it out through the mouth. <sighs> take big deep breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth like <sighs> making a little noise. And then just sitting in silence for a few seconds. And then bringing those hands together again and bowing. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this quick and powerful yoga flow. Remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.